regarding stress strain curve it describes the deformation of material to a distinct interval of load it's unique for each material stress is intensity intensity of internal force it is described as force per unit area newton per meter square one newton per meter square is equal to one pascal can be tensile or compressive strain is a change of length divided by original length therefore it is a ratio force the, the cortical bone fractures at two percent strain and cancellous bone at 75 percent strain stiffness is a material property and ability to resist deformation rigidity is a structural property elastic zone is elastic deformation and it's reversible elasticity is ability to return to resting or original shape area under the elastic slope is called resilience hook law stress is proportional to the strain in elastic zone of the stress strain curve until the proportional limit is achieved proportional limit is the end of linear relation with the stress strain curve elastic limit is the point beyond which there is no return to original shape even when the stress is removed this is basically a transition between the elastic zone and the plastic zone once material passes it it can no longer display elastic properties yield point is the end of phase where there is a permanent change in length with no extra stress plastic zone material will not regain original shape when stress is removed plastic deformation is irreversible deformation ultimate tensile strength is the maximum strength before failure strain hardening occur due to rearrangement of the metal crystals they intermingle with each other and form more stronger structure this happens during the beginning of plastic deformation necking is when between the ultimate tensile strength and the fracture stress reduces as the strain increases stress strain curve can be different for different material for example for osteoporotic bone yield point occur at the same strain as normal trabecular bone but the stress required to achieve yield point is much less so when osteoporotic bone you draw a curve you draw to the left side osteomalacia low stiffness plus high ductility a brittle material is a material with no plastic deformation such as ceramic and pmma ductile material are those which has large plastic deformation before failure like metals toughness amount of energy material can absorb before failure or fracture strain hardening plastic deformation increasing resilience to deformity drawing a stress strain curve draw a curve and then explains explain the stress strain curve describe the deformation of the material at distinct interval of loads it is unique for each material stress is the is 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 the intensity of internal force it is force per unit area measured by newton per meter square this can be tensile or compressive it is one newton per meter square is equal to one pascal strain it is the change in length or deformation of material when the force is applied it's measured as a ratio change in length divided by original length therefore it's a ratio and percentage fracture of cortical bone happens when there is 2 percent of strain and cancellous bone happen when there is 75 percent of strain stiffness is ability of a material to resist deformation 
stiffness is a material characteristics while rigidity is a structural characteristics elastic zone elastic zone is a zone where if the force is removed the material will come back to its original shape and length that is it is reversible elasticity is the ability of a uh, to return to the original length area under the elastic 